Hi everyone, I'm here with today's reason to be cheerful and you are going to have to stick with me. It's taken me a hundred takes to do this and I need to just shake out the nerves a little bit because it's just difficult to talk about. It's Tim Richardson's diary. So our founder Tim, when he found out that he had terminal cancer, he started keeping a diary. Um, he kept it right up until he was too poorly to do it anymore. Um, it means a lot to us personally as a charity because it's our founder and our friend Tim. Um, who died in February 2013. So the reason to be cheerful is that he left us this diary to remember him by, and it really is quite a read. Um, it's a beautiful, beautiful book. Um, it comes with a set of instructions uh, on the frontispiece, which says, if you don't like page one, try page two and proceed accordingly until the end. Um, I thought about reading some of the funnier bits of the book. They are really, really funny, but do you know what? I can't do them just this because I'm not funny like Tim. <laughs> uh, I also tried thinking about reading some of the sad bits, but to be honest, I can't do those just as either. Um, it's just too beautifully written. But I just want to read one passage, which is how Tim felt uh, when he came out of the hospital after he'd received his diagnosis. He says, it's very strange. I'm relieved the doctors have found something. I wish it wasn't cancer, but at least I don't have to worry that they can't find anything wrong. But most of all, from the moment I stepped out of the hospital, it is as if I am seeing the world and everything in it more intensely than before. The leaves of the trees are greener than they were yesterday. The wildflowers in the grass verges are brighter and more beautiful. The smiles on little kids' faces are broader, and I can hear every sound more clearly. I've always loved the rain, but now I can hear the music of every drop as it hits the roof of the conservatory I'm now sitting in. The grey sky reveals a tiny dot of blue here and there, but what strong blue, what delicious light bathes us. Already my reward for taking the shortest glance at death I have yet allowed myself is to see our world more clearly, to really see its beauty maybe for the first time. So, this is a difficult read. It is a cancer diary. There is no happy ending. Um, it's only a reason to be cheerful because we've got this wonderful book to remember our founder by. Some of the people that read the diary now won't have known Tim, uh, in which case it's a story of a man who tried to do the most positive thing he could think of doing in the face of the worst news that he could receive. Um, so I will leave that reason to be cheerful with you. And I just want to say thank you very much for listening and thank you very much for um, being interested in our charity Inspiration for Life, which Tim founded. And let's have a more cheerful video tomorrow, okay? Cheers.